Before you start this video, make sure that your domain is verified on the Google Admin Console. We have a dedicated video on how to verify a Namecheap domain in Google Workspace. The link is in the description of this video. In this video, we will guide you on how to generate the DKIM values and then set the MX, SPF, and DKIM records for Google Workspace manually instead of using the Gmail template. These records are mandatory for your Google Workspace email service to work properly. These steps are for domains that use Namecheap Basic DNS, Premium DNS, or Free DNS. The first thing to do is to generate the necessary record values in your Google account. Log in to your Google Admin Console. You can find the guide on how to log in to your Google Admin Console in the description of this video. Once you've logged into the console, locate the Apps section. You can find Google Workspace. Here you'll see the option for Gmail. Click this, then Authenticate Email. Select the domain name you'd like to set up the DKIM for from the list. Click Generate New Record. Select 2048 as the DKIM key bit length. Keep the default as the prefix selector and click Generate. Copy the DKIM value. Log into your Namecheap account and select Domains list from the dashboard menu. Click on the Manage option next to your domain name. Locate the Advanced DNS tab. Next, select Mail Settings within the Advanced DNS tab. Click the drop-down and choose Custom MX. In the required fields, enter the following record values. You can also find the values in the video description. Click Save All Changes. A success message will appear, confirming that the mail settings have been changed. You can find the MX records that have been added in the Mail Settings section. We've configured the MX records for the domain name. Now, we have to configure the SPF and DKIM records. To add the SPF record, locate the Advanced DNS Zone and click on Add New Record under the Host Records section. Add the following values. Now, we are going to add the DKIM record which we copied from Google earlier. Next, locate the Advanced DNS Zone, click on Add New Record, and add the values from Google to the DNS Zone. Click Save Changes. That's it. Just wait for one hour, and the records will get propagated globally. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post them under this video.